Okay, so uh, for the differential diagnosis, we associated the symptoms and lab results of the patient with various pathologies. One of the first one is uh, lymphoma, the second one would be leukemia, and the last one would be infectious mononucleosis. Um, due to the physical examination, weight loss fever and lethargy. And we stick to the first diagnos diagnosis of being a chronic myeloleukemia. Um, so why did we conclude it for CML? CML is a malignancy of, of white blood cells, which is characterized by increased numbers of myeloid cells in, uh, in the bone marrow and peripheral blood, which is uh, leukocytosis, which we identified in the blood screening. Um, this can cause a, like a number of signs and symptoms, and it will depend on the level of leukocytosis. Uh, about 50% of patients are asymptomatic, and um, when they are very symptomatic, generally it is associated with a m much more chronic stage of the disease. So what symptoms can we find in CML? We can find fatigue, night sweats, abdominal fullness due to splenomegaly, and low-grade fever. In the case of our patient, we initially identified fatigue and abdominal fullness. Clinical signs can include splenomegaly. Um, basically, if it is palpated, it's already three times its normal size, so that will also indicate the chronic stage of the disease. Lymphadenopathy, which we had, signs of anemia, like conjunctival pallor or glossitis, and easy bruising, which we also referred in the case. Um, so why do we have CML? CML is a disease in which we will have the overproduction of myeloid cells as a result of a tra chromosomal translocation which will produce the Philadelphia chromosome. And uh, this translocation will produce a hybrid gene known as BCR-ABL, which will trigger a cascade of reactions that will speed the cell division. And additionally to this, it will also inhibit DNA repair that will make the cell more susceptible to develop other genetic abnormalities. So we also divide CML in a chronic and accelerated phase. And in the chronic phase, um, we have uh, like a still competent immune system and an asymptomatic clinical um, frame, which will typically last around four to five years. And in the absence of any clinical treatment during these years, uh, we will progress to the accelerated phase of the disease. In the accelerated phase, um, we will have the majority of patients that present a symptomatology, uh, which will be a, a, apparently uh, two-thirds of the total pool of patients. Um, and as in this case, our patient was in the accelerated phase. The features of the accelerated phase may involve an increase in blasts um, present in the bone marrow and peripheral blood, an increase in basophils and eosinophils in the bone marrow, a worsening of anemia, a thrombocytopenia, an increase uh, in splenomegaly, and other genetic mutations in the stem cells. We can also have a specific case which uh, is called the blast crisis, which will be the most grave space or state in which a patient with CML can get to. So how do we confirm the diagnosis? Um, we do a cytogenetic testing of bone marrow um, aspirate for the Philadelphia chromosome. And uh, we can identify this with by FISH, which is a fluorescent in situ hybridization, or a polymerase chain reaction for the BCR-ABL gene. For our treatment, um, we have two main treatments for the CML. The first one is BCR-ABL tyrosine kinase uh, inhibitors. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you really liked this case and you had a great time thinking with me on the possible solutions of treatment for CML. I hope you also learned a little bit more about uh, hematological uh, pathologies and I hope to see you next time.